Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, it's just been such an exciting week, and it's just an exciting time in politics these days with all the outsiders jumping in to shake up the system. You all know that H. Ross Perot is threatening to run for president. And this week in our own state, in our own state, a political bombshell dropped when, I know you all know this, when Justin Locke, an 18-year-old high school student from Redmond, announced he's running for governor, which is great. People were skeptical at first because of his age, but he says he'll actually come across as more authoritative than Booth because his voice has already changed, which is good. <laughs> and the other big plus he's got going for him is that no one can accuse him of smoking dope in college yet, which is, which is good. <laughs> Although, apparently there's a problem with the campaign, though, because the guy that he's chosen to be lieutenant governor can't find anyone to take over his paper route, which is a big <laughs> problem. Although, governor... Governor Justin, I, I really like the ring to that. I, I suppose that if Justin gets elected, we'll be seeing a new look around the governor's mansion, coordinated by first girlfriend Heather or something. <laughs> but I tell you that here at Almost Live, we are right behind Justin's campaign, and when you see his proposed policies, I think you will be too. For example, all legislative sessions will begin with the phrase, Yo, Justin! <laughs> Department of Transportation will be headed up by Jason, who's got that really cool RX-7. <laughs> They're going to replace the picture of George Washington on the state flag with that girl from the Warrant video. <laughs> All right. You got a few votes in the, in, right here in the studio already, Justin. Okay, on Saturday nights, the Capitol Rotunda hosts Laser Depeche Mode. <laughs> The recently passed Lyric Law will be repealed and everyone who voted for it will be pantsed on live TV. <laughs> yo, yo, Justin. The inauguration celebration will be a mega kager at Lake Sammamish. Yeah. And he's going to officially change the state song to Smells Like Teen Spirit. <laughs> Of course, that last item reminds us once again that Seattle music is taking over the world in just half an hour on, on Saturday Night Live. Pearl Jam will be performing. Uh, Nirvana, of course, continues to dominate the charts, and record companies from all over have come to find new acts. They've come here. But, you know, it's, it's getting harder and harder to find them. Take a look. 